channel. Today I've come on just to show you really how to make a quick and simple card and the way that I make my envelopes, excuse my nail, they need taking off. <laughs> so anyway, I've decided to make, I'm not a card maker, I'm not the best at making cards but sometimes I just have these little ideas um, and this is really quick and simple so if you like me and you hate making cards or you're not that great at them or you don't have a lot of stuff to make them, these are great. Little handmade envelope made from just copy of paper and as you can see you cannot see through so if you don't have the envelope punch board it's still easy to make your envelopes I always put mine in that way around and it's this cute little card so it's all about your dies if you have a really nice die this card is three and a half inches by three and a half inches so and then I've used that gorgeous shimmer paper that I showed you in a previous tutorial and then I've just added a little red bow just something extra and inside I've just popped a sentiment, um, it is Christmas in the heart that puts Christmas in the air. And if you made these for your little, you know, your children to take to school for their friends, or for yourself just to gift out to family, it's really nice to go with a coordinating card. So we're going to do the same thing, um, because I think I might make a few of these for my girls um, to take to school for their friends. Got lost then, I lost completely lost my train of thought. Um, I love, love, love this um, little scoreboard, but I do love this bone folder. So you are going to need a piece of, well, I'm using black card. You could use whatever you like. And it needs to measure seven inches by three and a half. And it would help if I tell you that you need to score it at three and a half. And then just score. Then you need your shimmer piece. That will be three and a quarter by three and a quarter. And you're just going to layer that on there. And then this is the black piece that you're going to die cut your die. And then you're going to lay it on there. Okay. So in true blue Peter fashion, I've already gone ahead and die cut my die. So this is the die that I'm using. It's this one. Um, I think it was five pounds from the works. But it's a lovely die. And not only does it cut out, beautiful. You also still have, that just drops off, lovely, your die. And there's a lot of detail in that die. Let me, I don't know if it's going to pick it up really. If you can see there, there's some lovely detail on it. So keep that. And you are going to layer, you're just going to layer up like that. You will also need a piece for your inside. And that's going to be three and a quarter by three and a quarter inches. And we're going to stamp. So I'm just using my stamping up um, thing. <laughs> stamping platform thing. I forgot the name of it then. I do have the Tim Holtz one, but it's a bit bigger, so it's a bit more easier just to get this one out. So I'm going to use Memento Black Ink. You can see we're a bit too high up. So... I'm just going to ink that up and then just press that down. We'll do it again just to make it a little bit darker. I do like the shabby old aged effect of this stamp. So I don't really want it too dark. Um, just a little bit more on that in the air. And then that should be okay and we will just leave that just to dry off a little bit so that's how it looks I do really like the stamp a lot so I'm going to pop that to one side while we just um, attach everything else so really simple you do need a good glue Um I tried you've probably seen me in recent tutorials using this Anita's tacky glue my card didn't stick to this um, this glimmer but I have got another glue and it's um, hang on I'll get the bottle it's this one um, high tackle purpose really very sticky glue this is what I put in these small bottles with the thin nozzle and that did stick so all you want to do is just go around the edge quite close to the edge because you want it all to stick yet you don't want seepage coming through but do do glue all around the edges oops 
just make sure you get all around that reindeer because you do want it to stick nice okay and that should be fine and then now we can just place this down just giving yourself a really nice border all around the edge and then just going to pop my pin back in. What I did was just took the bone, my bone folder and just burnished it. So I did have to wait a little bit just for it to take to, because it's glimmer card, a lot of things don't want to stick to it. Let's see if that's stuck. I did end up pulling it all back up. Um, and taking it back off so if you do find you have to do that you might have to just add more glue am i having to do it yeah it's come away you see it it, it just don't want to stick let's go back in but it will stick in fact i'm just gonna ah oh, that's stuck you don't have to use glimmer card at all it's just really pretty. So just press it down. It will stick. Like I say, I did have a little bit of trouble um, getting it to stick on this one, but it has stuck. So just persevere with it. If you've got the same glitter card, um, it will go. So then what you want to do is attach it to your front. I'll come back in if it comes undone and just go over it again. Don't think I'll have to though. I always seem to get um when you come on camera, glue always seems to run out or not come out. Quite annoying actually. <laughs> oh dear. What should be a two minute job ends up taking ages because your glue just don't work. So then you want to set that one on top of that one, just leaving that nice border again all the way around the edge. And you can use your bone folder again if you want to. Where's my lid? Then what you need to do is just bring back in that piece of stamp and we'll attach that to I bet you didn't even see that did you silly me was you shouting at me then so we've got that then we'll just add in this next layer They would make really nice craft fair gifts as well. If you made like four or six as a set, that would look really nice. And then the last thing is I've just got some red card and I had the cookie cutter Christmas build a punch thing from Stampin' Art a while ago. And I just used this as a little bow for my reindeer just to give it a bit a pop of colour so stick quite a bit of glue on there because as you can see nothing wants to stick and then just place that on on your card and then we'll just leave that to one side and let that dry off but there you go there's your little card and your sentiment and now we'll go on and I'll just show you how I make my envelopes. I don't really have any set measurements for it. I just want to show you how I do it. And then maybe you can use that into making them for yourself. So all I do is I get a piece of um, copier paper. And you'll need your card as well. So I take a piece of copier paper. I measure the height of my card and I think... There we go. So I just think I'll have a half an inch for the bottom. So we'll fold that in. 
and then I'll just leave about an eighth there and then I'll decide where I want the top so I've scored that at half an inch and four and a quarter okay see so paper is five inches and then on the long side before we cut it I'll put my card in and I score it at two inches and then again I give myself about an eighth and then I'll score it at five and seven eighths this is me just making it up as I go along and what I do is I fold over that first score and you can do this to any envelope, that, uh, any card that you make so if you don't have an envelope punch board, I do have one I just, I enjoy making cards this way so then I slide, oh no I don't, then I fold the next score line right. just making sure that your paper is nice and even when you fold it so I fold in that score line and then I put my card back in like that so you've got plenty of room in there so this one's going to end up a bit bigger but there is plenty of room for your card to move around and then I look let's do it that way and I just think I need to come over two and then I'll do a quarter so I'll cut it at six and a quarter Okay, so I take it over to my cutting machine and I just cut that piece off and then just to double check that it is going to fit like that and, and that's how I do it I don't know if that's easy for you or what but um, yeah, that's how I do mine and then I'll just burnish and then what you can do then is just fold over these pieces oops so you know your thicker end is the top just do go careful because as I, it is only copy of paper so you don't really need to burnish so then all you've got to do is just I, like, I angle it and then it will just cut off the bottom rectangle and then I angle again or notch and then we'll cut off the bottom rectangle and then you just repeat it then on the top so notch or you could use corner rounder and then cut across and notch and then just cut across again and then all you need to do is just close them up so that one could do with a little bit more taken off the bottom and then we'll just glue it together so then decide where you want it to close and use your tape nearly ran out of this one so lay some tape just along that edge across the bottom And then along the top so that if you're gifting them the recipient has something to close them or just for when you come to use them really and then what you can do is just go over with your burn folder and burnish the tape down and then using your pokey tool just gently remove the back end because it is only copy paper hold that down flat and then just press that one on like so and then what I do is I take a little, I don't always do this but I do think it looks nice is if you can see sometimes when you cut your envelope you get that lip there can you see it's just a bit longer so just get a punch and just make a little notch and then it cuts that out like so so then you can just remove oops this bottom piece or make sure it folds over first and it does and then just fold it up and then just burnish 
and then you can just slide your card in and then it will close down and there's your envelope so this one might be a little bit bigger than yeah it is so I don't really make the same envelope twice you know but you can you've got the measurements of the envelope um, so yeah that's my quick and easy card I hope it's give you some ideas for just using dies and your stamps they are really nice and effective but really really quick to make so I hope you enjoyed them and I'll see you next time Bye.